Hello friends, welcome back to Onyx Food Hill. Thank you for joining me again. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make mac and cheese or macaroni and cheese. In this mac and cheese recipe, I'm using elbow macaroni. So I'm going to start by bringing 400 grams of macaroni to a pot of boiling water. And I'm just going to stir to separate the macaroni and I'm going to place the lid over the macaroni and allow it to cook until it's almost soft and while my macaroni is boiling I'm just going to go ahead and grate my cheese I'm going to be using cheddar cheese and mozzarella cheese you can use a combination or just a single cheese it all depends on the flavor and texture that you want I now have one cup of cheddar cheese, so I'm also going to grate half cup of mozzarella cheese. And I'm going to mix everything together and then set it aside. And once it has started boiling, I'm just going to go ahead and add in a teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to stir and leave it to boil until it's almost soft. Once my macaroni is almost cooked, I'm just going to drain out the water and leave it to rest for a while. Next, we are going to make a sauce for our mac and cheese recipe. So I'm going to go ahead and add in two tablespoons of butter to a pot. I'm just going to allow the butter to melt completely. Once the butter has melted, I'm just going to go ahead and add in 4 tablespoons of flour to it. And then I'm going to be mixing this until it dissolves completely. The flour is going to serve as a thickener to our mac and cheese recipe. While you do this, it will turn to a paste, but just leave it on low heat a little bit to develop flavor before you start adding in your milk. And now I'm going to gradually add in three cups of whole milk to this while stirring. I'm just going to switch over to a wig and I'll be stirring this until everything dissolves nicely. I'm cooking this on low heat. Once I've cooked my bechamel sauce for 5 minutes, it has thickened off and I'm going to turn off the heat. I'm just going to go ahead and grate in a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. And now add in half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper powder. And I'm going to wig this and make sure all the ingredients combine nicely. If your bechamel sauce thickens off while you are still in the process, you can add a little bit of warm milk to it to adjust the consistency. And now I have a very great consistency here. I'm just going to gradually add in the cheese mixture. And I'm just going to stir this after every addition. Make sure you don't add the cheese all at once. This will cuddle the sauce and also cause breakage of your mac and cheese. So before you start adding your cheese, you should let the sauce cool down just a little bit and become warm. Just warm enough to melt all the cheese. Once the cheese has melted in the sauce and we have a very smooth sauce like this, I'm just going to go in with my strained macaroni. After that, I'm just going to stir and make sure everything combines nicely. Now the macaroni and the sauce are well combined. And now I'm going to bring this into the baking dish. I'm 
I'll just go ahead and level the surface with the spoon. And I'm going to top it up with the remaining cheese. Once I'm done, I'm going to take this into a preheated oven and bake at 180 degrees Celsius for 20 to 25 minutes or until it is golden brown or bubbly on the surface. So guys, our baked mac and cheese is ready. I hope you love this easy homemade mac and cheese. Let me know in the comment section what you think about it. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe. Do remember to give me a thumbs up. Until next time guys, have a nice time. Bye.